I just would like to encourage everyone na pag sumika pa nating lahat yung pagiging interface ng Panginoon, especially in your generation, kasi ulitin ko ang pagka, pag, pagiging interface sa Panginoon is that ikaw at ako ay nakeri mo na yung puso at, kaisi, at daladala ng puso ng Panginoon at saka yung kaisipan ng Panginoon na kung ano ang gusto niyang mapangyari sa lupa, yun ang mangyayari dahil sumunod tayo at nilinya natin ang buhay natin sa Kanya. Kaya nga, yung kanina na sinabi ko, the people that could interface with God accurately is those that carry the what is in the heart and the mind of God, the Father, to the ground. Kasi pag sinabing interface, mayroon tayo ng access to both parties. May access tayo sa langit, may access tayo sa lupa. Kau ang gitna, tayo ang gitna. Pero the most powerful entity on the face of the earth that could become an interface of God to the earth is the church. <clears throat> ang church, kaya nga, pag hindi tayo joinable, pag sinabing joinable, pag hindi tayo joinable, fitly join together, iisang puso, iisang kaisipan na nakalinya sa puso ng Diyos tungkol sa mga bansa, tungkol sa mga henerasyon, mahirap mag-interface. At saka kailangan clear ang mind natin, pure ang spirit natin, uncontaminated tayo. Kasi hindi man si Lord mag-aalaw mag ng isang interface na na contaminated kasi ang maibababa is mixture pag mixture ang maibuild on the ground that is always collapsible material kaya nga ang kailangan lang natin maibuild is um, the word dimension by the spirit dimension yun lang lagi ang material to build so remember because of the grace that is flowing in the tribe as golden harvest tribe we are having or receiving the grace of a builder in the spirit na, una, na i-discuss na natin nung nakaraan that a builder in the spirit is a workforce for the kingdom. A passionate kingdom army na magpo-protect sa kingdom pag ito ay ano, uh, nag-manifest na on the ground. Lagi kong sinasabi sa bawat isa na ang kingdom ay magmamanifest. Luminya ka man o hindi. Luminya man ako o hindi. Sumunod man ako sa salita ng Diyos ngayon o hindi. Pero ang kingdom magmamanifest. It's just a privilege for you and for me to become a part of this kingdom that is about to manifest on the earth. Kaya hindi natin dapat ito mamiss. Hindi dapat tayo magpa-disqualify. Walang ibang magdi-disqualify sa iyo at sa akin na hindi maging kingdom person kundi tayo lamang. Ang mga lifestyle na mali, ang mga carry na mali na hindi tinatanggap, na hindi pinahinaayaan ang truth na mapalaya tayo ay tapusin na yan ngayon. Ako ay nagsusumamo sa inyo. Kung may na-identify kayo na wrong, na kinikiri nyo pa, Once and for all, demolish it. Stop it. Yung mga addiction sa gadgets, sa games, at hindi na tayo dapat magpapadala sa mga sa flow of this world, course of this world, because the course of this world, alam na nating lahat that the divine power that that is being manifested in us ay hindi pwede ma-overpower ng uh, things of this world. Kung meron tayo ng understanding sa bagay na ito. So, uulitin ko, paulit-ulit ako hanggang sa mag-click sa mga spirit nyo, okay lang, okay lang. Hindi ako magsasawa, magpaalala. Hanggang sa alam na alam ko na na it has a click already into your spirit. So these words and principles that we are building in our lives is not going to inform us, but to build us when we align our hearts to this and align our, our walk and our lifestyle unto these words or we receive this word into our spirit dimension, into our heart, into our spirit part. 
ma-outwork natin, malakara natin, hindi ito magsilbing informasyon lamang sa iyo at sa akin, kundi malakara natin ang bagay na ito para uh, maging bahagi natin. A ako ano naman ay naniniwala na napakaliwanag na nito sa atin. So, this word and principle ay hindi ito magsisilbing information lamang. Ano po ang kaibahan ng information at saka yung na natanggap ko sa aking espirito na hindi ito na choke ng mga tourney. Kung may tourney hearts, di ba may apat tayo na klase ng ground doon sa parable of the sower at para yeah, parable of the sower ba o ground? Yung klase ng pu mga puso, apat yata yon na thorny grounds, stony grounds, di ba? Tapos may good and fertile ground. Uri ng puso yon ng heart, spirit man. Mga klase yun ng spirit man. Ang pinakadapat nun natin maging portion, the good and fertile ground. Pag sinabing good and fertile ground, hindi stony, hindi siya sabutahin ng mga things of this world, ng mga other things pa, the lust of the flesh, uh, lust of the eyes, and the um, pride of life. Yung mga wrong thing na nasa heart din natin pero unaware tayo, ipaayos na natin yan sa Holy Spirit. Ang kailangan lang natin ngayon is a complete and total surrender unto God. Lord, here I am. Ako po ay linisin nyo na po once and for all, magpapalinis po ako. Tapos dadaanin tayo ni Lord sa process pero may grace. Pag dinaan tayo sa process ng paglilinis, ng pagtutuwid para maging uh, accurate, Godly people or kingdom people, may do during the process my grace. Pero pag hindi pa tayo sa panahon ngayon nagpapaayos, mahirap na pa na malayt pa tayo sa movement ni Lord. So I hope you are in the same page. Select arrow page that building God's kingdom first in our lives because the kingdom is about to manifest. The kingdom is about to manifest. Whether you align or not, whether you accurately connect or not to the God of heaven, through the church or through the set man, whether you behave yourself or not, the kingdom is about to manifest on the ground. Ang pinakamahirap na alam nyo na ang truth na ito pero hindi tayo naging partaker, hindi tayo naging part of this. May not this be our portion. But our portion is that we must become the people of the kingdom. Kingdom people. Okay? Sabi ni Dr. Jonathan David, To be the son of the kingdom is one thing, but to be the son of a king of the kingdom is another thing. So, pipili natin to be a son of the king of the kingdom or to be just sons of the kingdom. Kasi kung hindi ako nagkakamale sa Thailand ang illustrate niya na sa Thailand yata o some a nation in Southeast Asia na. Ang tawag, I think, yeah, Joseph Thailand yata. Ang tawag sa mga tao doon is sons of the kingdom. Pero there is more. There is a son of a king. So, ako ayoko mag-settle na son of the kingdom lang ako. Kailangan, son of a king ako. So, ano ba ang kailangan natin gawin para maging kabahagi tayo ng son of a king? Pag son of a king ka, hindi ka, pa, wala, eh, hindi ka pagkukulangin. All the privilege in the kingdom will be our portion. So, doon tayo magsettle. Ang, ang tanong natin ngayon, this 20 years of open heaven <clears throat> in the, na pinangako sa atin ng Panginoon, ang titingnan natin kasi pag sinabing 20 years of open heaven is the a favorable years of the Lord. To his church, to his children, to his sons. Ano ang titing na natin yung presence ni Lord. Kailangan well validated tayo lagi ng presence ng Panginoon. Pag sinabing validated tayo lagi ni Lord, yung marunong tayo mag secure ng presence ni Lord. Pag sinabing marunong tayo mag secure ng presence ni Lord, ibig sabihen ang ang presence ni Lord ang priority mo na hindi mo inahayaan na makuntamina ka ng flow ng mundo. Ibig sabihin, you know already the mechanics of contact without contamination. 
Not, not a religious one. Hindi po, hindi pwede. Lagi na natin sinasabi, ang religious, yung mga madaming bawal, bawal dito, bawal dito, bawal dito. Pero ang sa loob, ang daming negative na carry. Uh, mahirap yun. Mahirap yun. That, from the inside out tayo. Big sabihin, clean in the inside, pure, and clear our, our mind is uh, nothing, nothing bothered into our conscience. Clear ang mind natin. Kasi ang alam na alam mo na ang ginagawa mo ay nakalinya sa kaharian ng Diyos, sa katuwiran at kabanalan ng Diyos. Kaya walang uh, umuukilkil o nangungonsensya sa'yo. Kasi clear, alam na alam mo that what you are doing is right. Kaya lang, pag nandun tayo sa, sa confusion, sa atmosphere na may confusion, is very dangerous. Paano, ko, ma, paano mo malalaman na ang atmosphere may confusion? Yung alam na alam mo, Tama ang ginagawa mo pero bakit parang may kabigatan ka pa rin sa dibdib na nararamdaman kasi ang outside nagsasabi sa iyo na yan ang mali na sa na ginagawa mo pero you know and you know it to yourself and to your with your conscience that what you are doing what you are believing is right kaya lang ang galing sa labas na mga opinion, na mga speculations, na mga sabi-sabi, lalo kung parte ng pamilya natin ang mga nagsabi-sabi, na hindi naman based on the truth, doon ka confused. So may not be this portion, may not be our portion, this, these things. Kalaraduhin natin ito lahat sa Holy Spirit para hindi tayo nasasabutahe. Kung sa mga sandaling ito ay nasasabutahe pa tayo, uh, mahirap. Kaya nga, on a very practical level, mamaya tuturuan ko kayo, paano ba ako hindi masabutahe ng mga thoughts na ito, ng mga sabi-sabi na ito, para uh, makastand ako sa ground on my own conviction that this is what I believe and what, which is right and which is holy na hindi ko ito ipapasira sa maling conviction. Kasi, ang mga natatanggap natin actually, kasi mahirap kasi, kaya nga, kung alam nyo ba, bantay na bantay ko kayo sa panalangin namin ni Pastor Jerry, kasi ayaw ko, ayaw ko talaga na ang bawat isa sa inyo ay makainom ng river from Babylon. Ayaw na ayaw ko yun mangyari. Kasi, lalo na ang Panginoon. Kung ayaw ko, ako nga, na, nor na normal na tao, but I carry, of course, what is in the heart of God. Ang dalangin ko lagi na hindi kayo makainom sa rivers of Babylon because rivers of Babylon is a dirty thing, is a contaminated water. Yun ang sumisilo sa generation nyo ngayon na hindi dapat. Kung, kung alam nyo lang mag-engage to what is right, hindi kayo madadala ng agos ng torrential flow of these rivers of Babylon in this season, in this hour. Kasi mahirap, mahirap, hindi madali. You really need to stay strong, uncontaminated, pure and clear in the mind. Y yun lang. Diba tinuro ko na tumatagal na that the greatest weapon that we could ever have is the dimension, the stature of Christ in our lives. To, to stay strong and to be right. Pag carry mo talaga ang stature ni Christ, you will always right even in the midst of wrong. Hindi mo entertain ang mga sinabi na wrong. Alam mo wrong, you close your spirit. Paano mag-close ng spirit? Don't believe it. Don't believe Paano ka magsarado ng spirito mo, ng puso mo? Do not believe. How to open up your spirit? Believe. Kaya nga, ang word ng Panginoon nakakatuloy-tuloy sa ating puso when we believe. When we say, yes, I agree. I do agree on, on that Lord. Yes, amen, amen, amen. It, it means you are uh, drinking from the water, <coughs> from the river of life, which is the word of God. The, the Christ, okay? So, learn how to close your spirit to the Babylonian system, to the worldly system. Learn how to to close your spirit. You need only to open up your spirit to the works, to the word, to the wisdom, to the ways of God. 
that alone. Kasi para ma-preserve natin yung generation nyo na magiging interface ng Panginoon. Lalo, nag-umpisa na ngayon. Nag-umpisa na ngayon. Kaya marunong tayo dapat magsalat sa spiritual dimension. Ang ituturo, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon kasi is the purpose of the builders in the spirit. Bakit ba si Lord nag-re-raise ngayon, nag-build ng builders in the spirit? Sinabi na natin nung nakaraan that builders in the spirit is a workforce of God's kingdom. Ngayon, ang binibuild natin na kingdom nasa dimension. Kaya nga, when we say building the domain right now, the kingdom, or accessing this, this kingdom of God in the place, spiritual place, spiritual dimension, or spiritual realm, spiritual world, okay? Tapos na itong kingdom dun sa spiritual realm. Ang builders in the spirit na patuloy na binibuild ni Lord ngayon, yun ang nag access ng mga part and parcel, part and pieces of this kingdom in the spirit dimension, in the spiritual world, para ibaba sa lupa. In other words, ikaw at ako ay portal, portal of heaven to the earth. Portal, kaya nga interface, heaven to the earth. Kung ang kingdom na yari na doon sa spiritual realm, ang mga makakabuild lamang dito sa lupa ay ang mga meron nakita ang blueprint ng kingdom doon sa spiritual realm. Kaya nga importante, we need to learn the, the, this technology of accessing things in the heavenly places which is our Garden of Eden. There is everything. Nandoon ang sabi sa Ephesians, di ba? I have given you The Lord, through the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Father, given us all the blessing in spiritual dimension, in the spiritual places. It's every spiritual blessing. Nandu na yon, kasi ang mga nandito sa earth is just a result of what is in the heavenly places. So ikaw at ako ay binigyan ni Lord ng position, ng authority, ng ng technology na ma-access natin ito sa spiritual realm. Na every time we go there in the spiritual realm to bring things on the ground by the word and by the spirit, alam natin na yung nakita mo doon sa spiritual dimension through a portal. Okay? Through a portal, doon sa spirit dimension, kung pintuan nyo ng kingdom and then ibababa mo sa lupa. Kaya nga, you can touch now a domain which God had already revealed unto you. Saan ba ikaw na domain? Education. And then what? Build it now, right now. Build it right now. This education domain. Business domain ka ba? O sa broadcasting ka ba? Build it right now. Uh, para makita mo doon ang blueprint because kingdom is a universal thing because when you see things in the heavenly places and then you receive it in your spirit and your mind is clear you are able to bring it down in the underground by the word when you prophesy when you decree what you saw in the port in the heavenly places and that is building in the spirit for example <clears throat> For example, ang, ang nakita ko, kunyari, ah, ah, hindi kunyari, what I say is to build builders. Our mandate is to build builders. Our mandate is to build builders in the, in the spirit. So that grace is now overflowing or flowing through us, in us, and through us. And then pag, uh, pag nakita natin yung material doon sa heavenly places na natanggap ng ating espiritu at na ibababa natin sa pamamagitan ng pagdecree natin ay mayroon ang nangyayari because God God's word that we are declaring is the same power when God declare let there be light and there was light kaya nga iingatan ng mga pagsasalita. Ingatan ang puso. Kasi kung kontaminado ang puso natin, when we decree something on the ground, it is a mixture. Mixture of good, mixture of go uh, bad. So it, it will be a collapsible material. Hindi pwede. 
So halimbawa, nag-decree ako na, and, and prophesy. For example, I see things in the spirit dimension. Now, I receive it in my spirit. I believe it and I receive it in my spirit. It's another dimension. When I go, I'm going to uh, receive the spirit of understanding in my mind, ibig sabihin, access na ng spirit ng mind ko because of the spirit of understanding with the Holy Spirit na ang aking natanggap sa spirito now it's another dimension when i speak it it's another dimension it is already a material for example i lord i pray right now for the education domain in saudi arabia specifically lord god i touch this domain in the name of jesus by the word of god that there shall be a change of curriculum that is now in alignment to the kingdom of god a curriculum that is going to infuse life to infuse strength upon the generation a curriculum that will become that will prepare a generation and equip the generation to become a workforce in the nation we decree oh lord god that in this domain of education there shall be equipping of the next generation to be prepared as a workforce for the nation to be built up in alignment to what God, the kingdom, is doing on the ground in the name of Jesus. I prophesy right now that everyone that is going to be strategic, we are calling forth right now strategic men, women in the education domain that would change atmosphere, that would change the environment in the whole educational, entire educational domain of Saudi Arabia or in the Philippines. In Jesus' name, oh Lord, as an interface we touch this domain right now. Bring healing. Bring hope in Jesus' name. We stop right now the decay and the decline in the education domain. In Jesus' mighty name, no more death in this domain. But there shall be life that is going to be manifest in the domain of education. No more oppressing things. No more oppressive demonic spirit in the domain of education. We are touching right now this domain to, to, to receive life from heaven which we see in the kingdom of God. And it now it is now about manifesting in the on the ground in Jesus name so therefore we decree right now an education domain to really receive healing in Jesus name we're stopping every decay every decline every death in the name of Jesus we declare right now that there shall be no more oppressive demonic spirit that will touch this domain because we're taking back this domain for God in Jesus mighty name every domain every nation every generation is of God in Jesus name no longer this domain is of the world, but this domain is of God in Jesus' name. This mountain, we are touching this right now by the word of God and by the spirit of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So that's building in the spirit. Even in your room, you can touch your domain. Do you, do you agree with this? Because you say it's something in the spirit dimension. Pero kung hindi clear, kung hindi clear, ang mind, we can never do this. Kung hindi clean ang ating spirit, ang nirelease natin mixture. Kasi ang, ang nag-release pala tayo ng word, pero mayroon pa ng something sa atin na wrong, na pinapakorek ni Lord, na pinapag-give up sa atin ni Lord. Eh, nasama mo dun sa pag-prophesy mo kasi package deal yun. Know? Pag sinabi mo, pag diniklara mo ang word, kasama dun yung spirit na carry mo. Eh, kung ang carry natin na spirit is Wrong, unaware pala tayo, pero ang carry natin na spirit is may kain spirit pala. Kain spirit is a murderous spirit. Nicolaitan spirit is a wrong spirit. Jezebelic spirit is a demonic spirit. Lahat yung demonic. Kung mayroon pala ng naka kung pamina sa atin na ganun, although unaware, ta, although unaware tayo, pero that is a spirit. Nangangailangan din kasi sila ng bahay. So magpalinis tayo sa banal na spirito sa pumamagitan ng kanyang salita para yung mga lying spirit na tinanggap ng ating spirito na unaware tayo, ma-expose ito into light para every declaration that we are making is a clean, pure, and uncontaminated word of the Lord that when we build it on the ground, it will stay forever. The enemy has no hold. I hope I am clear. This is just an example of building in the spirit. Akala lang natin kung ano nang kasi. Simple lang baga. It's a form of a governmental and a prevailing prayer. That's the way we should build in the spirit dimension. You can touch your, your domain. What domain God had been called you to influence? Touch that domain. 
by your prayer, by declaring. Pero kung gaping-gapi pa tayo ngayon na mga self-agenda, selfish agenda ng mga things na hindi naman talaga yun ang pinapagawa ni Lord, ay lubayan na natin yan. We can never be a builder in the spirit kapag may mga selfish agenda pa tayo. Pag sinaming selfish agenda, kasama ang self. So hindi na natin yun dapat... <clears throat> maging portion Dapat makalaya tayo sa mga bagay-bagay na ito because the kingdom is about to manifest. It's just a matter of time. Ang pinakamahirap kung nag-manifest ang kingdom na akala mo kasama ka, hindi pala. Ay very, very frustrating on our... Kasi hindi na tayo, di tayo babalikan. Hindi tayo babalikan ng Holy Spirit. We really need to face with the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, pace. Same page tayo dapat. Same frequency. Same signal ang natatanggap natin. Hindi maibang signal. Kaya nga, titingnan nyo kung naka-find yun ang frequency nyo to the worldly frequency. Very dangerous. Paano ko po masasabi na naka-find yun ang frequency ko to the worldly? Pag ikaw ay may anxiety, ibig sabihin yung frequency mo naka-find yun sa worldly, worldliness, worldly frequency. Pag ikaw ay talagang nagkukumpara ka pa ng sarili mo, may insecurity ka pa. Ibig sabihin, fine-tune na fine-tune ang frequency mo sa worldly frequency. Pag ikaw ay nagwo-worry ka pa, ano na ako ngayon? Ano na ba ang ginagawa ko? Wala na akong, ay, ay, eto, parang, wala, wala na akong, wala akong, parang, wala, wala, at sa tingin mo, wala kang ginagawa. Na actually kasi, ang ginagawa mo ay hindi naman ang pinagagawa ni Lord. So, naka-find yun sa uh, wrong frequency. Ano pa ang mga dapat? Worriness, anxiety, insecurity, yung fear. Okay? Covetousness, yung kukumpara mo lagi ang, iba, ang sarili mo sa iba na pag meron si ganito, dapat meron din ako ng ganyan. Ay nako, kung ma-realize nyo lang ang carry nyo na yung mga pinupurso ng mga unbeliever, ay yan ang carry mo, ma-realize mo lang yan, hindi mo na, hindi mo na ipansyon ang frequency mo sa worldliness. So, tigilan na yan, stop na, mag-find yun, it's just to, a decision away to find yun. Do not compare yourself to the worldly things because you are not of this world. Kung di pa tayo settled na we are not of this world, once and for all, it's settled muna ito kasi pag may, pag sakang ka pa, you are walking, alam nyo ang sakang, yung ganito ang paa, mahirap, di na-accelerate. Di na-accelerate. Kasi uh, nagdodraw sa world, nagdodraw sa divine. Nagdodraw, nagdodraw doon sa uh, Babylon, nagdodraw dito sa Zion. It's, it's a dirty thing. Stop it, okay? It's just to decide. Mag-decision. Hindi si Lord ang mag-ahango sa iyo dyan. Yes, my grace si Lord, pero ang pagdi-decide, hindi si Lord magdi-decide on your behalf. Tayo ang magdi-decide lagi to change, to change. Diba nag-enter na tayo into a new way, into a new way of life, into a new way of living. So, once and for all, settle these things before God. Kasi ang kingdom magmamanifest. Ang pinakamahirap kung hindi na tayo kabahagi ng kingdom, inasyo mo lang na kabahagi ka ng kingdom. Pero ngayon, ngayong araw na ito, Do not allow na matapos tayo na hindi natin ito ma-find yun, hindi natin ito maayos, hindi natin ito ma-settled sa Panginoon. Okay? Uh, before we go into the purpose of builders in the spirit, di ba? Sabi ko may magsishare bawat select arrow kung ano ang natanggap niya sa na-understanding sa dimension ng kingdom na ibababa ni Lord sa lupa. Okay? Uh, ngayon ay si Joshua ang sinabihan ko at next mag-message sa akin kung sino yung nakaredy na, naka-prepare na may understanding ano ba talaga ang natanggap mong understanding sa kingdom ni Lord about the culture, about the people, about uh, the ways, the law of the kingdom, so dimension of the kingdom. So ano ang mga understanding na natanggap mo na nilalakaran mo na kasi life ito kaya nga para ma-accelerate, mayroon tayo ng equalization ng bawat isa sa atin. So, I uh, would like to <clears throat> encourage everyone na 
uh, bawat Saturday may mag-share na isa para may equalization tayo ng mga natanggap nyo at mga natanggap ng bawat isa. Okay, Joshua, go. So, good day po to all and good evening po dyan sa Philippines. Okay naman po yung volume. Okay naman po. So, um, saan po ba? Okay po. Um, sa, to my understanding po about the kingdom, it's mostly related to how it affected my life po. And to my understanding about the kingdom is talagang tatanggalin po talaga about our whole concept to what we already know about the things around us na common. But in the kingdom, things are way different than what it is in the world. Uh, the kingdom talaga is real. It's real. It's not just a mere idea or o gawa-gawa lang na story, but it's it's real talaga that it it's alive. That there is something there in the spirit that most people overlook, but it's there. It's it's there in the spiritual. So, ang, ang a point ko po dito is the kingdom really has a high, higher standard in the world. And to my perspective po, kung, to how God dealt me to my experience in life is the kingdom is, when you're a part of the kingdom, tatanggalin po talaga yung self-centeredness mo talaga. Eh, yung, yung self, yung ako. Kasi in the world, we've been, um, we've been brainwashed that kailangan mag-compete tayo lagi sa world na ako, oh, pagalingan. Ganito yung people standard. And kailangan nandun ka, you match up to their. Or else, if you don't match up to their standard, you're a lost one. Yung, yun yung world. But in the kingdom, it's not. In the kingdom, to my understanding, it's about Staying on to the purpose. They have one mission there, one purpose, one goal. And that goal is kung anong goal ni Lord. So yung naintindihan ko po is we, need, we have to carry ano yung agenda ni Lord. What, what is his mission? Kung ano po yung goal niya, his aim. And to my understanding uh, of what God is caring is that his aim is for the people, uh, for his children. For the people, because a lot of people are lost nowadays, and his mission is to save all of them. But we've been given the, the excuse me, the privilege to become an agent of change, a partner with God. Para on his behalf, we will take action onto it. So I understood that, and one of the things ring is, of course, yung like what I said is yung pagtanggal ng self-centeredness. Na it's not about you. It's not about you. To, to my understanding of the kingdom, it's not about you. But it's about being in service for the people. Yun po yung naintindihan ko. That we have to carry the same purpose ko anong binubuhat ni Lord in His heart for the people. is to save all the people. Na, to my understanding the kingdom, it's not just about you na ikaw to live up to your best. No, but you have to do something good for the people. That's what I understood na to help them bring to God, to what is right. Kasi ngayon, there's a lot of confusion. And we, ha we don't know that. Ngayon, mga people, they don't know that pala. And we have to bring them to what's right. So, yun po ang, uh, ang na naintindihan ko po. And to, about the kingdom, it has a higher standard too that about removing the self-centeredness, it's about just allowing God to flow in you and to allow God to work in you so that you can be a change. Because you cannot change other people if you yourself are not changed. So that's what I understood, um, especially to my um, experience about self-centeredness. Now, to my uh, understanding, it's just, to allow God to fully change you so that yung mga nahihirapan ka magbago, when you allow God, God, people can see that something's different in you, something is changing in you. And when, hindi nila may explain why, but something is different in you. And that's because you allowed God to fully work in you and change you. 
Um, sorry, but um, I'm just organizing my thoughts. <laughs> uh, where was I? About self-centeredness. So what I was saying is, uh, pag nabago ka ni Lord, pag nabago ka ni Lord, people will see the result in you. People will see the change in you. That they will see na ah, it's no uh, no other man can do it, but you carry something different, and they will prove it that you carry God in you. So that's my understanding. Po na we have to, as part of the kingdom, in the kingdom, we have, it is our mission to be an agent of change, to help people bring them towards God. And it's done first by allowing God to change us so that we can change other people. Na matanggal talaga ang self-centeredness, na it's not about you, but you're doing this, you're doing this purpose for the benefit of others too. So that's what I understood po about the kingdom. Now it's not just about you. It's not just about God blessing you, but it's about God changing you so that you have the ability and power to change people's life by His grace. So yun po ang naintindihan ko kasi there's a lot of things that we can't do. Especially, uh, it's, uh, we, cannot, we cannot comprehend how God can change us from point A to point B. But it's all just by faith. It's all just by by faith na no matter what, you will you know you will get there. And nakita nga natin, we we thought of it ourselves na hindi nga natin kaya, but God can. So it's just allowing God to work in you so that you can become what He wants us to what God wants you to be so that you can change other people. Simple. And also more on to that about the things of this world nga na, we have to be careful because the kingdom is really different. The, we have to be careful na we don't take into the world kasi if we take into the world, it will jam us and we don't have a way na to grasp the kingdom. So we have to be careful na not to be religious, but we have to make sure that we stand always to the purpose na hindi natin makakalimutan that we always live up to to the main agenda to our destiny to our main goal so that is all what i want to share Paul. so thank you Paul. thank you joshua uh, as much as possible palag uh desire ko may mag volunteer for the next Saturday, mag-message na lang sa akin or doon sa select arrow. Pero kung walang mag-volunteer, uh, ako ang mag-a-assign. Okay. Ay, ano, Joseph? Ah, okay. May nag-volunteer? <laughs> si Joseph daw po next week. Inunahan niya akong i-assign ko siya. <laughs> okay. So, Joseph daw po next week at na sa susunod na next week. By the way, bago tayo mag... Uh, ah, okay, mamaya na lang yun. Let's go to the purpose of builders in the spirit. We need to know this para alam natin bakit ba ako kailangan mag-build in the spirit? Or bakit ba ako mag kailangan magpa-build kay Lord? Okay, now, sinabi ko na nung una, di ba? Number one, to intensify the move of the Holy Spirit in that particular place of your assignment. Purpose of builders in the Spirit, number one, is to intensify the move of the Holy Spirit in that particular place of your assignment or your domain or your jurisdiction. To intensify the move of the Holy Spirit in that particular place of your assignment or of your jurisdiction or of your domain. So everybody, every one of us has a place of your assignment. Iri-reveal yan sa atin ng Panginoon. Ngayon na nasa family tayo, our, our place of assignment is the family. Ngayon, kung halimbawa ikaw ay magtuturo, 
uh, the place of your assignment is in the education or pag connected kayo sa government your place of assignment is in, in that uh, government government is specifically kunyari sa Manila or for example sa amin sa Bulan Sorsogon so that is our uh, place of our assignment or jurisdiction since we are in Saudi Arabia our place of assignment is in Saudi Arabia because every place God has a man. Nakukuha, nakukuha niyo ako, maliwanag ba? So, kailangan we should be or we must be the right man at the right place at the right time doing the right work or command, obeying the right command. So, we, we should be and we must be a right man on, on the right place at the right time doing the right work given or mandate doing the right work mandate at the right way godly way nakuha right man i should be or you should be and we must be the right man at the right place on the right time doing the right work pag sinabing right work mandate yun assignment pag sinabing right way doing the in, in the right way godly way there's no other way but god's way we can never substitute by our own way by the others way uh, others people's what uh, they said to you to do it on their own way no 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 build your mandate in that domain in the place of your assignment do your mandate in the place of your assignment godly way the godly way that is the excellent and superior way by the word nothing no more no less Ay, hindi pwede mali okay tingnan nyo halimbawa eh, do i need to repeat it or nag, nakuha nyo na ah, nakuha na okay uh, halimbawa ikaw nga ang right man pero nasa wrong place ka still wrong the result is wrong o nasa right place ka Ikaw ang right man, nasa tamang lugar. Right man, right place, right time. But you are not doing the right mandate. Kasi ang inasyo mo lang na ito ang mandato mo pero di pala yun ang pinagagawa sa'yo ni Lord. Ang pinagagawa lang pala sa'yo ni Lord is just to simply, uh, kumbaga magbibuild ng bahay, ang pinagagawa lang ni Lord sa'yo is... Um, Tatanggalin mo lang yung mga maliliit na debris. Maliliit na debris ha, hindi yung malalaki. Eh ang mga ang ginawa mo eh, nag, uh, naglagay ka na ng haligi. Naglagay ka na ng frame ng bintana. Nag, is, yes, you are doing the right thing, but you are violating some principle crossing boundaries. Yun ang karamihan na kristyano ngayon. Na lalo yung mga may superiority thing, Oy, pag may superiority spirit pala kayo, ha? yung mga superiority thing na yan, mga ego yan, mga ibaba nyo yan, tanggalin nyo yan kasi makakaharang yan, makakajam yan sa pinapagawa ng Lord sa atin. So, okay, uh, nasa right place nga tayo, nasa right timing, right man ako, right man kayo, pero doing it in your own way, tamang mandato, pero doing it on your own way is still wrong. So, titingnan natin, okay, ako ba ang tamang tao nilagay dito ni Lord? Yes, check. Am, am I in the right place? Check. At the right time? Check. Right mandate bang ginagawa ko? Instruction, tama bang instruction na narinig ko mula kay Lord? Yes. Am I doing it the right way or the godly way? Ano sa ang pinagagawa ni Lord? Pag-check yan, accuracy ang tawag doon. Accuracy. So pero mayroon naman ng ano, uh, uh, mayroon naman ng panghuli. Eh kung right way nga pero kontaminado tayo. 'Yun ang dilema naman. Uh, right way, ginawa the godly way pero grabe naman ang bitterness mo kasi uh, kung uh, yung mga self ang nakakakontamina. So hindi tama ito. So we need to function fully in the place of our assignment. Basta ang tamang gagawin natin, godly way, the right way, doing the, our assignment the right way. So that is to intensify the move of the Holy Spirit in the particular place. Kailangan ni Lord ng builders in the Spirit because He really needs to intensify His work on the ground through you, through us. Mayroon lagi si Lord ng tao, South Africa, 
Indonesia, Philippines. He, he handpicked people. Kaya lang ang nagiging dilemma, yung mga handpick niya, kung nasa wrong place, yun ang mali. So, we should be a man, a right man, at the right place, at the right time, doing the right work or mandate according to God's way. Yun ang accurate. Okay, kaya nga kailangan clean. So, when, once, uh, pag sinabi natin intensify, to become a catalyst, yung bang, or instigate, pag sinabing instigate, I-N-S-T-I-G-A-T-E, pag sinabing instigate, ang alam ko, alam nyo ba yung shepherd, yung minsan pinupush ng gentle way na ang mga tupa ng kanyang staff, alam mo yun, alam nyo yun, napipicture nyo bang sinasabi ko? That's one way to instigate. So, to become a catalyst or instigate, steer up, or intensify spark uh, for a great, greater fire in the environment and could change atmosphere as well. Pag hindi tayo change person, he can, we can never change atmosphere. <clears throat> so, uh, next point, sa so number one, builders in the spirit know how to intensify move of God, the move of God. Because when we hit the the right frequency when we hit the right thing in the heavenly places or the frequency what the what is the divine in the spirit realm something is about to break open on the ground every time we hit certain frequency in the spiritual realm we are breaking open on the ground that is something that is of god god's move or by the holy spirit so let us uh, let us all not be soulish Pag sinabing soulish yung emotion, sa emotion level, let's go beyond emotion. Let's go beyond um, selfish thing, beyond soul, beyond emotion, but in the spirit. So don't be soulless or emotional. Instead, be easily overcome by God's move and, and touch in us. <clears throat> Speak to people's spirit, by, bypass their mind pag nagbibuild tayo in the spirit. Go directly to the spirit of God's people. Don't let our soul be heavy. Okay? It cannot be ignited. It, it cannot be ignited. Pag ang, ang soul natin ay may burden o may hero ng kinikerry na may heaviness ka sa soul mo, sa emotion mo, we cannot ignite the spirit of God's people. We cannot be touched by the spirit of God kasi ang mind natin na sasabutahe ang dapat nagagawin ng Panginoon sa atin kasi hindi tayo clear sa mind eh. So our thoughts is now becoming a, a hindrance to what we are about to receive. Hindi natin ito pahihintulutan, okay? So I uh, encourage you to open Genesis chapter 1. I just it's just impressed unto my spirit. Genesis chapter 1 and 1 and 2. Genesis chapter 1, 1 and 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless, okay, and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he, he separated the light from the darkness. So ito yung creation. Nakita natin, nandun ang Holy Spirit, nandun ang word ni Lord. Ang pagwala ang Holy Spirit, kahit magsalita tayo ng word, I think, I don't think mag uh, come to pass. Kasi kaya nga, word dimension and spirit dimension. So pag nandoon ang presence ng Holy Spirit, we, we need to deliver the word. So deliver the word or prophesy the word when the Spirit of God is moving. Moving. Kasi word and spirit dimension, yun ang pagbibuild ng kingdom niya sa mga buhay natin. So we should be with a dimension of the word and dimension of the spirit. Pag as long as the Holy Spirit is there, when we decree the word, let there be light, and there was light. Yun ang importante. Kaya nga we should always be full of the Holy Spirit. Not full of self, not full of this world, not full of anything that is not of God, but full of the Holy Ghost. 
When we are full of the Holy Ghost, things of this world has no place in our spirit. In, even in our mind, pag natrain natin ang ating mind. So just put down the verses, aralin nyo na lang to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, 24 to 25, yung prophecy ito, yung pagdideklara natin, yung when we build in the spirit, I, I know, I already teach you this double, double sword when praying, the Praying in the spirit and the praying in understanding, praying in the spirit, praying in understanding when we decree the word. Na naalala nyo pa yon na two-edged sword ang laban when we when we pray in the spirit. Okay, governmental prayer kailangan. You know your position in the spirit. Know your position. Kaya nga kailangan. Wala the world has nothing to do with us. The enemy has no hold on us. The world has no hold on us because when we are there in the position where God, the Lord Jesus Christ, position us to be seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus, you know, you know and you know it to yourself that when you decree certain words, it will be always in motion to come to pass, to bring the, uh, uh, the word into fulfillment by the Spirit of God. Kaya hindi tayo pwede mag-allow na mga words na makakajam ng frequency natin, especially our mind. So, 1 Corinthians 14, 24 to 25, and Genesis 1, 1 to 3. Okay, yan. Number two, the purpose of builders in the Spirit is to open fresh communication with the Spirit. To open fresh communication with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Ilagay nyo dyan, 1 Samuel 3, 1 to 10. Iparaphrase ko na lang ngayon. Pero babasahin nyo itong mga verses bago magsabado. 1 Samuel 3, 1 to 10. O ito ang gawin nyo quiet time ng mga verses. Aralin nyo, pag nagbabasa kayo ng word, enter into that word dimension. Pag sinabi kong enter into that word dimension, isipin nyo kapag nagbabasa kayo ng salita, isipin nyo na nandun kayo sa senaryo na yon. Imagine yourself that you are in that in in that scenario. Halimbawa doon sa Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 3. Imagine mo nandoon ang God the Father, God the Son, the Holy Spirit when the Lord speak darkness disappear. There shall ang um, dating formless, ang dating void nagkaroon ng form. Ang dating void, nagkaroon ng may result ito. Ang dating formless, may naging, may naging form when, we, when he prophesy, when we decree his word. So, at ang principle is the same power that in his word, when he spoke that word, let there be light, is the same power of the word that we are speaking in the heavenly realms. Kaya hindi natin basta-bastahin ang carry mo at carry ko. Pag-ingatan natin ang treasure na kinikerry natin. Okay? Uh, sa time na ito si Samuel, sa uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3, 1 to 10, yung time na ito yung hindi pa recognize ni Samuel, pero to be sure, basahin na lang natin. Kasi may nakalagay kasi doon na barely hear the word of the Lord nung panahon na yon Barely ang vision. First Samuel chapter 3. I hope I am not boring you in this meetups. Okay, number one. Uh, first verse 1 sa so chapter 3. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel served the Lord by assisting Eli. Si Eli siya yung high priest during Samuel's time. Now in those days, messages from the Lord were very rare. So seldom kumbaga. And visions were quite uncommon. Nakakatakot naman yung panahon na yun eh. Samuel. Parang pag, pag binabasa ko to, ayoko ito, ayoko to maranasan. Yung rare ang word ni Lord, hindi ko marinig ang kanyang salita. Inimagine ko lang kung di ko, di ako makarinig ng salita. Uh, it's Oh, beyond uh, imagination. I, hindi, ko to, hindi ko to gusto. Verse 2, One night, Eli, who was almost blind by now, had gone to bed. 
the lamp of God had not yet gone out and Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle, the temple of the Lord, near the ark of God. Suddenly the Lord called out Samuel. Yes, Samuel replied, what is it? He got up and ran to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? I didn't call you, Eli replied. Go back to bed. So he, de he did. Then the Lord called out again. Samuel, again, Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? I didn't call you, my son. Eli said, go back to bed. Samuel did not yet know the Lord because he had never had a message from the Lord before. So the Lord called a third time and once more Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? Then Eli realized it was the Lord who was calling the boy, Samuel. So he said to Samuel, go and lie down again. And if someone calls again, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel went back to bed. And the Lord came and called us before. Dinaretso ko sa ten. Samuel, Samuel, and Samuel replied, Speak, your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, So yun ang panahon ni Samuel. Si, si Eli is priest nung panahon. Alam natin ang kwento na ang mother ni Samuel, siya ay dinedicate as as she promised to God na yung kanyang anak na si Samuel ay i-dedicate niya sa house of God, sa temple ni Lord. Kaya nandoon si Samuel sa ba murang edad, sa batang edad. But he was being trained there by Eli. Ang unang training ay to hear the word of the Lord. Pero bihira ang boss, ang bira nila marinig ang tinig ng Panginoon noon. Pero si Samuel, <coughs> naturuan siya ni Eli. Although si Eli that time ay hindi siya accurate. But Samuel, kung makita nyo, kahit hindi accurate si Eli, si Samuel, pinalo niya ang principle ng kingdom, proper chain of authority, honor and respect. Hindi siya nagsabi, hindi ka naman nga accurate. So hindi, ko rin, ako, hindi rin ako maging accurate. Hindi siya nagsabi noon. He did his part accurately. Kaya alam nyo ba, na paglaki ni Samuel, nakita naman natin ang resulta sa, sa, uh, sa Samuel. He is so more than anointed. Talagang interface ng Panginoon. And yet, wala nun ang Holy Spirit. Hindi residential nun ang Holy Spirit. Sa mga prophet na lang, residential nun ang Holy Spirit. So, <clears throat> nakita natin na si, si Samuel lumago ng lumago ng lumago hanggang sa naging governmental ang grace na carry niya at ang anointing na carry niya. Pag sinabing governmental, pag nandyan ang presence mo, ang certain area, diameter of area ay hindi mahihipo ng kaaway because of your presence. Hallelujah. Grabing grace ang carry ni Samuel. Samuel carried the grace of a governmental grace and anointing more than apostolic i believe or apostolic sa place sa sa panahon natin ngayon pag sinabi kasi governmental you, you become a governor in the spirit you more you police more than you you more than police the heavenly realms in that strategic place of your assignment walang nakakalapit na kaaway kasi ang diameter ng over ng anointing mo at ng stature mo ay grabe ganun na lamang Ra tanggap na tanggap alam na alam ng enemy na hindi ako basta-basta makakapasok diyan because of this man of god nakuha niyo ba lumago ang carry ni Samuel inalagaan niya ang anointing ang stature na meron siya although uh, the process is hindi natin beyond compare hindi natin alam masyado ang process ni Samuel pero he he is in a perverse or hostile environment during that time but yet he could keep his spirit clean pure and uncontaminated hindi siya nagpakontamina kaya accelerated i believe ang paglago sa kanya at that time ang panahon ni Samuel bira marinig ang tinig ni Lord ngayon sufficient tayo sa tinig ng Lord may prophetic instruction tayo may prophetic declaration and direction tayo na may 20 years tayo open heaven mayroon darating na dead, year, dead years and uh, land years uh, dead years and etc uh, farmer without cow uh, 
alam nyo ba yun, may direction tayo. I believe nung panahon ni Samuel, pihira ang ganito. Kaya nga ni-raise up siya ni Lord as a prophet to the nation. Ang mga naging influence niya ay king, hindi lang basta-basta. So, anyway, the purpose why God is raising us and building us to become builders of the Spirit in the Spirit is to open fresh communication with the Spirit. So si Samuel isang halimbawa doon. Samuel didn't fully understand initially that God was speaking to him, right? Doon sa binasa natin. Eli told Samuel what to do to get connected to God. Sometimes, alam nyo ba select arrow, sometimes we just need assistance with our connection with God. Kasi we assume most of the time that our connectivity is accurate, so accurate. But please do not assume. Please do not assume. Align our lives every day. As a matter of fact, we need to be, be sure, so sure of our alignment and our connectivity to the God of heaven through the church and through the settlement or people above us. Sometimes adjustments that God is uh, requiring from us by His Word, through His Word. And those who operate in the apostolic grace can help us with this adjustment that is being required to us. Kaya importante ang nasa under authority tayo. Hindi pwede sa kaharian, hindi pwede ang wala kang covering. Pag wala kang covering, vulnerable na vulnerable ka sa mga gawa ng kaway. Kaya nga, we need to be under proper chain of authority so that we can be always, we are going to be covered. Because the adjustment that is being required from us, kailangan ng isang apostolic covering para ikaw at ako ay maka-fully adjust sa kung ano ang nire-required ng Panginoon sa atin. It takes grace. Kahit may word tayo, it takes grace. <clears throat> yes, ang word may carry na grace, pero kung hindi tayo nagsasubmit sa tamang authority, ay wala. Hindi, hindi ito mag-work out. So, we need to also learn that Samuel was established with God at a young age and he became a strategic man on earth that carry a governmental grace in the place of his assignment. So may this Samuel's grace and authority become our portion. Now, not in the days to come. Now, just receive it. Believe this. Okay, number three. <clears throat> Ano oras na ba? O may 30 minutes pa tayo? Number three, to see drastic deep change. To see drastic deep changes to the lives we are ministering or touching to. To see drastic deep changes to the lives we are ministering or touching. Uh, Yusin nyo na lang ang grammar kasi syempre I'm also learning grammar kaya kung may mga grammatical error may mga grammatical error diyan ay itama nyo na lang so to see drastic deep changes to the lives we are ministering or touching to so kaya kailangan um, kaya may builder in the spirit so that we can be able to help bring drastic changes to the lives of others it takes grace. So when we bring the presence of God into our meetings or uh, into the people where God connected unto us, there shall be changes by His Word in His presence or by His Spirit into His likeness. To change to what? To be formed into what? To be changed and be formed unto Christ likeness. Kasi yun ang kingdom. We are going we are able to turn difficult times around by spending time in God's presence para bang yung mas, yung situation mo na mali matatama because we really spend time with God and there's a progressive development because there's progressive revelation of his words and in his presence and our perspective changes <clears throat> basahin natin Psalms 84 verse 1 to 7 Psalms 84, 1 to 7. Psalms 84, 1 to 7. 
Psalms 84. Okay, how lovely, how lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of heaven's armies. How lovely, verse 1 ito, is your dwelling place, O Lord of heaven's armies. I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. With my whole being, body, and soul, I will shout joyfully to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the shallow birds her nest and raises her young at a place near your altar. O Lord of heaven's armies, my King and my God, what joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessings. They will continue to grow stronger, and each of them will appear before God and before God in Jerusalem. So, ito yung sinabi ni ng ng salmes dito ang kanyang sitwasyon sabi niya the place or my ang situation niya the valley of weeping weeping become a place of refreshing springs pag nandoon siya sa presence ni Lord kasi di ba sa verse 1 a place in the presence of God. What a joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. Kaya yung bali of weeping niya naging joy. Naging <clears throat> joyful ang kanyang situation. And then, sa ibang translation, my strength, the strength ka, uh, ang strength niya from strength to strength. Doon sa presence ni Lord. So, drastic deep change. Kasi ang Sitwasyon pag hindi tayo nagbago, ang perspective natin hindi nagbabago. Kag, alimbawa, may situation tayo na negatibo. Ang prayer ng isang carnal mind ay ganito. Lord, paguhin mo naman po ang aking sitwasyon kasi pagod na pagod na ako. Uh, ang pinababago niya ang situation ni Lord, ayon doon sa perspektibo na meron siya na hindi naman yun perspektibo ni Lord. Pero ang isang spiritual mind pag nagpray, Lord, change me, O Lord, so that my perspective about my situation would change and I will understand how am I going to overcome the situation that I am facing right now. So magkaiba. Kaya nga ang importante, lagi tayo nakababad sa presence ni Lord. Hindi ko naman sinabing maghapon ka sa presence. No. Ang in na natin nung lockdown na the God consciousness Ang paulit-ulit na sinasabi ni Mama Lan na secure God's presence because in this open heaven, the favorable year of the Lord is the only, the only vital things that we should do and we must do is to secure God's presence because when we have the presence of God, we have everything that we need. All will just fall into place and just fall into alignment everything that we need for the assignment and for our future to finish our mandate strong will just line up. Why? We, we secure God's presence. Kaya mababago ang panalangin natin. Kapag nagbago ang perspective natin, the perspective, yun ang signal na iba na tayo manalangin, iba na tayo humarap. So sa presence ni Lord, ang sikreto, the Secured presence of God in our lives. The God consciousness. <clears throat> so when we bring the presence of God into our meetings or into our, into our life, in, into the people whom God connected unto us, they are being changed by the word that we outwork. Yung nilakara na nating salita. And is <clears throat> according to God's presence. So we are turning difficult times around by spending time in God's presence. Imagine pag prioritize natin ang presence ni Lord to secure His presence, ang lahat ng bagay ay maglilinya na lang kahit hindi mo ipanalangin. Believe me. Kahit hindi mo ipanalangin, 
Itama lang natin ang frequency natin sa Panginoon. Itama lang natin ang alignment natin, ang connectivity natin. Kahit hindi mo ipanalangin, maglilinya ang mga bagay. So, we are <clears throat> going to become progressive. Our development is going to be accelerated because there is a progressive revelation of His Word. <clears throat> Kaya ang perspective natin nag nagbabago from strength to strength till we are all appears where God's live in Zion. So, ang Zion is a place in the spiritual realm. Doon tayo dapat nakatira. Don't let your soul dictate you. Pag sinabing soul, do not allow your mind to dictate you. Kasi ang kadalasan, ang nasa mind, mali, hindi naman nakalinya. Okay lang kung train na train na ang mind natin. According to the mind of Christ na. Kasi okay lang yon. Pero kung hindi pa, kailangan in the spirit tayo lagi. Operate in the spirit. Yun ang importante. So, so to see drastic deep change to the lives we are ministering or touching in every... Kung may mga meetings tayo or kung may mga uh, ka-fellowship tayo. Yun ang purpose ng building in the spirit. Number four, to see a greater release of faith to see a, a greater release of faith in the miraculous to see a greater release of faith in the miraculous luke chapter 5 verse 17 to 26 luke chapter 5 verse 17 to 26 mahaba ito pero ano uh, hindi na natin babasahin ngayon kasi ang parang time natin sa recording Pero I encourage you to please read these verses. Okay. So, Luke 5, 17 to 26. When we are a builder in the Spirit, there's grace that flows to change atmosphere. And uh, atmosphere that causes us to change an environment. Because when we are a builder in the Spirit, there's grace that flows to change atmosphere which causes a change in behavior of the people in the meeting or in the fellowship. We can govern wrong spirit spirit that is being carried by other people. So, and we can change the wrong mindset in the spirit, okay? So we need to create excitement in people's life to get them involved to what God is doing on the earth. When we are carrying this kind of grace, we can change atmosphere and we create excitement in people's life. Ang context dito sa Luke chapter 5 verse 17 to 26 yung paralytic na dinaan sa bubungan sa itaas at nakapapaligiran sila ng mga religious people na mga Pharisee and Sadducees. Meron palaga ng colliding waves. But the Lord Jesus Christ able to govern those things that are wrong Kaya nagkapagbigay pa siya ng yung spirit of faith ay nandoon. Yung atmosphere na govern niya. Ang mga carry na wrong na mga taong nakapaligid na govern niya, na arrest na ito. Kaya nagmanifest pa rin ang miraculous things na pagalingin itong paralitikong ito. So yung excitement, the, the expectation, spirit of expectation ang faith ay na, naging so strong para maniwala sila na mayroong mangyayari sa araw na yan. So ito yung mga purpose ng building in the spirit or builder in the spirit. Kapag nandun tayo sa meetings or nandun any, anywhere where God uh, brings us any place, kailangan ang posture natin is a builder in the spirit. Governing prevailing. Pero ang humility ni Christ ay nandoon, being displayed. Christ-likeness nga eh, si Lord ang pattern natin. Okay, number number five na tayo, ano? Number five, to bring a deeper level of relationship and fellowship and covenant building among His people. To bring a deeper level of relationship and fellowship and covenant building among His people. Ito yung nasa Acts 2, 43 to 45. 
to bring a deeper level of relationship and fellowship and covenant building among his people. Acts 2, 43 to 45. Yung mga tao na nagkaisa, pati mga property nila pinagkaisa, yung common ba sila, yung nagkaisa ang kaisipan, nagkaisa ang mga dinadala ng puso, wala na sila doon sa mga may selfish agenda, yung mga self and flesh, wala talagang nagmanifest ang kingdom. Because of a change atmosphere in the place, people's attitudes change as well uh, as towards each other. Pag ang, pag ang place is saturated ng presence ng Panginoon, hindi pwedeng hindi mabago ang bawat isa. Ang hindi lang mababago yung ayaw magbago. But as long as they have the heart for God, mababago sila. Ang, ang truth ay mapapalaya sila. So allow the truth to set us free from every wrong thing, from every negativity. Kaya alam nyo ba, kaya hindi napapalaya ang isang mananampalataya, ang isang believer. Actually, I do not call it believer. Pag ayaw magbago, hindi ko yung tinatawag na believer. Kasi ang believer, ang accurate believer of God's word ay may acceleration sa pagbabago. Tinatanggap niya ang salita ng Panginoon na na walang mga apprehension na hindi niya inaalaw ang mga dati niyang alam na mali kontrahin na ang salita ng Diyos. So, kaya ang mga nakakadelay kasi pag nahit sila ng truth, imbis na magsabi ng oo nga, ganyan nga ako. Ang dami pa munang justification, explanation. Kapag mayroon kayong nerebyok na tao or hindi nerebyok pinaalalahanan na ah, baka naman iyan ay yabang na yan o baka yan naman ay inggit na yan o baka naman yan ay insecurity na yan. At ang dami niyang explanation, ang dami niyang justification, something is wrong with that person. Ayaw niyang magbago. Kasi kung gusto niya talagang mabago, oo nga. Insecured nga ako. Kaya, Lord, patawarin niyo po ako. Ngayong araw, oras na mismo ito, babaguin ko po ito na ang security ko is in Christ. Oo nga, ang yabang ko talaga. Lord, sa mga oras na ito, ako po ay nagpapakumbaba. Hayaan ko po na ang, ang kapakumbabaan or the humility of Christ must operate is, is in operation inside of me. <clears throat> Oo nga, may superiority complex ako. Pag superiority complex yun, siya ang gustong laging magaling. Siya ang gustong laging tama. It's very dangerous. Kasi pag nag-grow yan, oh, monster yan. It's on the side of a demon. So, ang superiority complex, very dangerous yan. Kaya, kung mayroon kayo ngayon ng seed niyan, be delivered. Sabihin, oo nga. Oo nga, parang lagi akong gusto kong magaling. Pero pag nauungusan ako, pag mayroon nakaka... Uh, lamang sa akin, parang ang sama na ng kalooban ko, eh, be delivered from that superiority complex because superiority complex in the kingdom of God eh, has no place in the kingdom of God. Yung mayroon ng carry na superiority complex, you assume lang na ano, nasa kingdom ka, pero pag uh, mayroon ka pa nito, i-stop na yan, tigil na yan, dahil makakasabutahe yan na hindi 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 makaka-fulfill ng mga assignment at hindi matatapos ang mandato sino man na kahit attend nang attend kayo ng select araw pag hindi niyo pinatanggal hindi niyo tinanggal inalaw ang word at inalaw ang holy spirit at kayo nagdesisyon hindi kayo nagdesisyon na tanggalin ang mga wrong thing hindi wala tayong matatapos na mandato so today kailangan habang nagsasalita ako kung meron ng sinasabi sa inyo ang Holy Spirit na may dapat tanggalin, may dapat tayo ayusin sa Panginoon, may dapat uh, sa area ng insecurity, sa area ng superiority complex, sa area ng inferiority complex, sa area ng uh, covetousness, sa area ng uh, worldliness, tanggalin yan kasi makakasabutahe yan. Hindi, walang makapag-assure na makakatapos kayo ng mandato. At mapupunta kayo on the top kung meron ng ring and ng carry na ito. So be clean, be pure. It's just a decision away to be pure and to be clear and to be... Just repent. Pag sinabing repent, accept it because that is the truth. The truth will set us free. The, the truth is the Lord Jesus Christ. Diba? I am the way, the truth, and the life. So Lord, oo nga. 
mayabang ako. Oo nga, Lord, ang taas ng ego ko. Binababa ko po ito at hindi ko po ito pinahintulutan na sabutahin ako. Sinisira ko po ito sa buhay ko sa pangalan ni Jesus. Maging Lord, ang pagiging ingitera, sinisira ko ito. Tanggalin ang lahat ng bagay na yan. Kasi ang conscience natin magre-reveal yan. Hindi, hindi magkakamali ang kusensya natin magsabi sa atin na yan. Diba? Ikaw ang kinakausap niyan. Iyan ang Holy Spirit. Hindi, hindi magkakamali. Alam na alam mo at alam na alam ko kung ano pinatatanggal sa atin ng Panginoon. Alam na alam natin. Kaya lang, hirap tayo magtanggal. Why? Bakit hirap? Kasi hindi mo yan in-expose in the light. But once you said, Yes, Lord, I'm going to change once and for all. I'm going to be clean, pure, and uncontaminated, clear in the mind. It's not religiosity. Ang religiosity ay di pa dini, pakinig ka ng pakinig ng salita pero hindi mo ito nililinya, hindi mo ito nilalakaran pero marami kang bawal. Oh. Palud-lud pa mag-worship. Grabe ang passion ko nyari sa worship. Pero ang mga bagay na pinababago ng Lord ay hindi naman binabago. That is religion of self and very dangerous. So baguhin yan ngayon. Yun ang religion. Uh, cover up lang, cover up. Pero yung inside, may mga carry na wrong. May mga carry na wrong. So ngayon, sa araw na ito, ang mga sinasabi, binubulong sa atin ng banal na spirito at pinapaliwa, ay na, uh, kinukonvict sa atin, yung konsen konsensya natin nagsasabi na ito ang kailangan tanggalin, tanggalin, tanggalin. Tanggalin natin yan na bago magtapos itong select arrow session natin ay mal mayroon ka na ng freedom in the spirit. Yung bang parang malayang malaya ka na sa presensya ni Lord. Wala nang umaatake sa yung speculation, anxiety. Wala nang kabigatan. Yung bang may buoyancy of the spirit ka na. You, you, re you are being released and free. Bakit? Wala nang mga selfishness and mga self things of the I, me, myself. Eh ano, kung ikumpara ka ni ganito kay ganun, eh wala. Alam mo, kingdom ang mandato natin eh. Kung outside from the kingdom, ay, hindi ka dapat doon mag-find yun ang frequency mo. Dito ka lagi sa kingdom. So, if we want to be, to, if, if you want joy to be completed, <laughs> kailangan natin ito ang mga bagay na ito, ilinya natin ang sarili natin sa kaharian, kultura ng kaharian, holiness, righteousness. Pag sinabi holiness, kabanala na mag-uumpisa sa kaloob-looban, sa statue, dimension, dimension of the spirit, sa spirit part natin. Okay? So lang nyo lang lang, John, 1 John, because of lack of time, magpe-pray tayo kasi. 1 John 1, 1 to 10, Psalms 133, 13, yan yung unity in the spirit. Hindi spirit of unity ha, unity in the spirit. Pag lahat tayo doon sa dimension ng spirit, doon ang unity. Kasi iisa ang kaisipan, iisa ang uh, tinatahak, iisa ang pathway. Okay? 1 John 1, 1 to 10, Psalms 133, 1 to 3, 1 to 3 verse lang yan eh. And ganun din ang first John. Buong chapter yan, pareho. Basahin nyo yan. So marami na kayong quiet time. Bible reading ngayong, uh, <coughs> ngayong linggo. Alam nyo ba, joy will be complete always when we have each other in our life. Yeah. United. Because success is not a solo project. I need you. You need me. I need everyone in the church. And the church need us. So, success is not a solo project. Kaya nga sabi ko nga sana yung project nyo dati, kaya lang parang nasense ko na hindi pa naman timing. Mag-synergy kayo as Select Arrow. Mag-synergy kayo. Alam nyo ba ang success nyo is great. Pero synergy, walang mga selfish-selfish agenda. Yung mga walang yung mga I, me, myself. Kasi pag ang flesh pa ang dinisplay, ah, vulnerable tayo sa demonyo lahat. Kasi ang pagkain ng jablo ay ang flesh. So, wag natin papainan ang demonyo ng mga flesh. Kaya, let the Christ manifest. Let the Christ that we carry manifest. Dwell together in unity. Yan yan sa Psalms. Brothers of the same Father, 
brothers of the same spirit dimension, brothers who, who are in the same page, same frequency, same spirit DNA, birthed from the same apostolic stream or lineage. So, tayo yun. When we come together kasi, when we come together, supernatural things is about to happen. It will happen on the ground. We need a unity that brings anointing and grace to fulfill our destiny. So, in unity, God is commanding His blessings to flow forth the life, the life. Because church, churches must be the source of life to the city. You and me must be the source of life to the community. Kasi kung tayo ang interface, eh, di tayo ang maging daluyan ng buhay. Kasi may, we carry Christ, the life, okay? In the spirit. Anyway, tapusin natin. Uh, last na lang, six. Number six, bringing reformation to society and revival through the church. Bringing reformation to society and revival through the church. This is in Acts chapter 2, 37 to 47. Bringing reformation to society and revival through the church. Itago nyo ang mga notes nyo kasi pag naunawa, dumating ang spirit of understanding sa inyo sa bagay na ito, etong notes nyo na yan na sinusulat nyo, dadagdagan nyo na lang ng dimension nyo, maituturo nyo na sa iba kapag nalakaran na ito. Okay? So not just confined around meetings, ang pag uh, sinabi reformation. When God releases something, it must be developed, it must be progressive, it must grow. Kasi sabi yung binasa natin kanina sa Corinthians, all can prophesy, all can speak in tongues, all can operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, all can be a minister of God, all called, but few are chosen. And few were that is going to become faithful. So, dapat doon tayo sa faithful. Doon tayo sa faithful. Hindi lang tayo doon sa cold, chosen, but faithful. Unto the end. Unto the end. So, it's just a matter of timing. It's just a matter of timing. It's just how we respond to His words and how we align our lives and our lifestyle unto what He said. <clears throat> but all, uh, we must part of that race in that journey okay so take note select arrow to, uh, to for this conclusion that i have it is one thing to be saved from sins from hell <clears throat> or it is one thing to be saved from sins we committed but another thing is to be saved from this perverse generations in hostile environment how can this happen na masave tayo? Okay? Ligtas na tayo. Sure na tayo na hindi tayo mapupunta ng impyerno. But there are better things accompanied salvation. It's a kingdom. Sabi nga, it is my uh, father, father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. <laughs> Bakit di tayo dun magsettle? So sa kingdom, we must uh, be saved not just from hell, not just from the sin that we committed, but from this Perverse generation in a hostile environment which we are in right now. How can this happen? We must have or build a culture in our life, a total or a complete value system, established value system, core value system in our life that is built, okay, in our spirit first, that would elevate us higher or above the problem, or area, or situation. We must establish or uh, provide a culture that will preserve us from the decay of this declining environment and the hostility of the situation that we are right now. At tough times, na para nang sa ganun, pag nabuild ito sa atin, tayo din ay magiging agent ng Panginoon talaga na ang other generation ay mas spare at ma-preserve, mas save and ma-build and ma-train. And what is that culture? Culture of the kingdom. Holiness, righteousness, peacefulness, joyfulness in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. So, be saved from this perverse generation in the hostile environment <clears throat> by operating in the culture of the kingdom. Amen and amen. So, alas stress na pala. Let's all pray. 
But before we are going to close in prayer, I would encourage again to be pure, clean, and uncontaminated, clear in the mind. Wag tayo na jajam. Kapag ngayon na jajam, stay in the position of strength. Wag tayo pa hintuloto. Ama, ano mga nakakajam? Yung flesh, sobra kung makajam. Paano mo ma recognize na flesh palayon? Pag hindi nakalinya sa word ni Lord at according to God's way, recognize natin, pag ang flesh ang nag-operate, pag nag-operate tayo sa flesh, I mean myself, very deceitful ang flesh. Very deceitful. Kung hindi tayo mag-operate in the spirit, very deceitful. So, unang-una, ang mga works of the flesh ang nakaka-jump ng frequency natin. Pangalawa, yung mga sinabi ko na mga wrong thing, palayay natin ang sarili natin noon, once and for all. Okay? Pangatlo, kapag nagbabad, nagbabad tayo sa social media na hindi strong ang spirit, nakakatanggap at pinaniwalaan nyo. Limbawa, may narinig kayo na uh, ano ang tawag nito? Inspirational speaker ba yun? Motivational speaker? Pag may narinig kayo na motivational speaker, pinakinggan nyo, nag-drink nag, nag kayo sa kanya, hindi nyo alam na may carry pala siya na wrong spirit, package deal yun. Pati spirit. Behind the, his words or her words ng motivational speaker, ininom nyo. And unknowingly, yung spirit pala na yun ay Nicolaitan spirit. Oh, nakakatakot. O kaya Jezebelic spirit. Ay, ang seed, nandiyan na sa'yo. Ay, ngayon, napunta ka sa conducive atmosphere kung saan mag-grow ang Jezebelic spirit. E di, nag-grow pareho. Nag-grow ang word ni Lord, nag-grow ang Jezebelic spirit. Mixture. Kaya may confusion. Nakakatakot. O kaya, ang napakinggan nyo sa social media, carrying a spirit of a rebellious spirit or bitterness or anger. Kaya nakinig kayo, nag-drink kayo sa kanya, pinaniwalaan yung sinabi niya. There's nothing wrong with it, pero kung hindi kayo marunong mag-close ng spirit nyo, pati ang spirit na yon na rebellious spirit, na anger, na bitterness, ininom nyo, nag-grow, napunta ka sa conducive atmosphere para mag-grow ang spirit of rebellion, na... na Napunta ka sa atmosphere, sa environment na, halimbawa, sa UP, ang nag-govern na spirit, mga rebellious spirit, napunta ka doon, eh may seed ka pala, hindi mo alam. Nag-grow ito, nag-grow ang the word of God, kaya nag-mixture. Oh, o kaya napunta ka sa isang eskwelahan na religious spirit, religion. O ang mga religious spirit, nag-grow. Ang atmosphere ay very conducive sa spirit of religiosity. Nag-grow. Nag-grow ang word of God. Nag-grow ang mixture. Collapsible in the days to come. Why? Kasi may confusion. Sa may spirit na carry nun, may confusion. Hindi siya makapermanente. Ano ba talaga ang tama? Ano ba talaga kuya? Kaya lagi siyang, ano ba talaga? Nasaan na ba talaga ako? Lagi siyang nangangapa. Why? Mixture. So ngayon, magpatama tayo sa Holy Spirit. I am challenging you not to become a mixture. Kapag may confusion na tayo, ibig sabihin ang fine-tuning natin na mali ang fine-tuning. Now, go back to fine-tune our frequency to the Holy Spirit's frequency. Okay? Eh, klarado ba ito? Hindi, ako, ini-expose ko lang sa inyo isa-isa ang operation ng masamang espiritu. Kaya, kung hindi strong ang spirit nyo, huwag kayong mag-expose sa social media. Hindi ko po sinabing bawal ha, kasi ayot na ayaw natin maging religion. Eh sabi ko nga, kayo ang generation of technology, kaya nga i-equip lang kayo. Equip lang kayo, bigyan lang kayo ng wisdom, mag-guide lang kayo, ma-equip lang kayo. Ang social media is a platform for you to be a partner of God on the ground as an agent of change. Yun ang importante. Ma-equip lang kayo. Kaya nga kailangan sa sinasabi ko, sumunod kayo kasi hindi, ibig sabihin, ginamit ako sa inyo ni Lord para expose ito, para hindi na kayo confuse. Pag, pag alam nyo ang spirit nyo hindi strong, do not expose in the social media. Mapafine tune at mapafine tune nyo, uh, mapafine tune at mapafine tune ang spirit nyo sa wrong. Pag hindi kayo strong in the spirit. Pero pag salatin nyo, pag strong ang spirit nyo, 
why not? At pag hindi na kayo attracted sa mga worldly things, pero pag may attraction pa kayo sa worldliness, okay, pa, pa, palago, palagoin, 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 palagoin ang Christ. Hanggang sa mag-expose kayo sa social media, hindi na kayo attracted. Yung para bang wala na kayong pakialam kay, na kay marami siyang collection ng sapatos, kay marami, kay ang laki-laki ng kita niya, kay ang laki-laki ng sahod niya, wala kayo doon pakialam kasi hindi yun ang operational dynamic. Sabi ni Lord sa kanyang salita, maging iyuman ang lahat ng bagay sa mundo o ang buong mundo. Pero kung ang kaluluwa mo man ay mapunta ng impyerno, baliwala. Nakuha niyo ba ang account na yun? So it's it's not about the things of this world. Hindi yun ang portion natin. Kingdom tayo na magpapagaling sa mga bagay, sa mga declining sa mundo. So why settle for these things na lahat yan ay mabubura, lahat ay mawawala? Lahat ay la, wala, walang madadala. Eternal kingdom ang ating pinaghahandaan. So, itong mga bagay na ito, ngayon, itama na natin ito. I believe, sa susunod nating select arrow, makakasa tayo on a different level, in a different pacing, different pages, and different frequency. Let's go up higher. Amen? Let's go up higher. Na yung pag nanalangin ba ako na wala na akong marareceive na colliding waves, na may confusion pa, na may mga alanganin pa, na may ganito pa, na may addiction pa. Na, alam nyo ba yun? I, I can know it. Nasasalat ko kasi sa spirit ko somehow. I don't know why, but I can testify you with this. I know when everyone, everybody is in, in a breakthrough state of their spiritual uh, living. So, wala na tayo doon sa religion, wala na tayo sa old ways, wala na tayo doon sa flesh, flesh ways. Dito na tayo sa spirit dimension. Ikasa natin ang ating sarili natin na builders in the spirit, agent of change, impactful, prevailing, governing, okay? Hub of all the divine activities of God. Yung bang daanan ka ng mga bagay na galing sa langit, papunta sa lupa, mga material, what is that word of God, what you access in the heavenly places will be able to be on the ground because of you, because of us, because our, we are connected to each other in the spirit, accurately connected to each other in the spirit. So, I hope this session is maliwanag, kaya may confusion kasi mixture. Kaya may mixture kasi nagdodraw kayo sa world. Nagtitake kayo ng mga materials from the world. Now, only take the material from God in the heavenly places. So, I am challenging you, select araw. Ngayon, bago kayo matulog, ngayong araw, Saudi, mga taga Saudi Arabia, mga taga Pilipinas na nakikinig, bago kayo matulog, Come to the presence of God and be changed. Come to the presence of God na huwag kang aalis sa kanyang presensya hanggat di mo natatanggap yung sinasabi ko na buoyancy of the Spirit. Yung bang parang ang gaan-ga ng pakiramdam mo. Yung bang parang may tinanggal sa spirit dimension mo na something wrong. Na yun pala yun yung nagkakapasabutahe sa iyo. Na bakit di ka maka-enter into the portal, in the pathways, in the Spirit. Why there is confusion. No clarity in the mind. Kasi may wrong na carry ang Spirit. So tonight, And today, I'm challenging you to do it before you sleep. And I tell you, tomorrow or after, uh, before you you're going to bed, buoyancy of your spirit. I mararamdaman mo to. This must be our portion. Amen. Amen. So let's all pray right now. Kipa la raba baba sila raba baka talara yande. Shula baba baka tapalara. Connect to the Holy Spirit. Connect. The Holy Spirit is here. Oh, it's going to cleanse us up. Remove all things. Remove everything that we drank from the world unknowingly, unaware. Oh, the Holy Spirit, allow Him, the, allow the Holy Spirit to remove the things. Remove the things. Oh, Lord, remove everything, everything that are wrong, that are negative. Oh, kepasi mama kapalara mama. Come on, touch the Holy Ghost. Kepasula baba baba kata mama malara mayanda lara yanda. Connect, connect. Connect well. Kupula raba baba kati mama malara didi kupula rasula rayande. Okay, papa sulu bobo kotula mama maka pak sulu bobo bobo yando. Neki ama mama kati mama maka pos sulu bobo bobo lolo bobo lolo yande. Yeah, ala baba k.
Kaka mama sulu bobo kutu la mama liyandi le reyondo Oke paka palare ya baba kapo sulu bobo lo reyondo la baba la reyande Ye la 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 kukyo momo sulu bobo kutu lo bobo lo reyande Lele ke mama ma, solo baba baka ke mama ma, la mama, la la baba, la baka ke mama ma. So align, align your spirit, align your spirit to the word. Right now, right now, right now, change, change, repent, repent, change. Ki baba baba la rayanda, so la baba baba ka ke mama ma, solo baba lo rayanda. Change right now, change and repent. Ki baba sa la baba la rayanda, ne mama ma la rayanda and enter. Right now, enter to the pathways of the spirit. Enter in. Ke ba bo bo so ka pa la ra ba 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 le le riondo. Lo le ke pa pa ka ke ma mo mo so lo bo bo lo ro bo bo le riyanda. Oh ke ma 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 so la ba 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 le mo lo ro riondo la ba ba ka ke ma 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 so lo bo lo ro riondo. Eh ke a ba 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 so lo bo bo ko ke ma 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 salama. Learn how to push in the spirit. Learn how to push in the spirit. So la ba 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 ka ke ma 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 ma. Until you receive the buoyancy of the spirit, until you receive the freedom in the spirit, right now, right now, right now, push, push, keep a la ra ba 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 bo bo, so la ra ba 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 ka ke ma 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 ma. Oh, we break the spirit of confusion right now in Jesus' name. We break it now in the name of Jesus. Ke ma ma mo mo so la ba la ra yande. Every wrong thing, oh Lord God, we are pull pull pulling down strongholds in the mind, Lord. That sabotaging the truth in Jesus name okay pasola malarayan pulling it right down in the name of Jesus okay pasela rabayanda ele bosola rayanda every uh, frequency lord god that was been fine tuned to the worldly frequency we are now aligning ourselves to be fine tuned to the divine frequency of heaven in Jesus mighty name oh lord we are now declaring forth that no more anxiety no more insecurity no more uh, superiority complex inferiority complex covetousness lord god oh le ke bosola rayanda we are declaring oh lord god that all every wrong thing that the select i was been <coughs> Taken, oh Lord God, we are removing it all in the name of Jesus, breaking every bondage, oh Lord God, of addiction to the God, just to the games. In the name of Jesus, we are demolishing it right now. We are destroying it right now in Jesus' name, Lord. We decree right now, Lord, that our that our frequency, oh Lord, is going to be fine tuned to the divine frequency, no longer, oh Lord God, to the worldly frequency in Jesus' name, no longer, oh Lord God, to the uh, works of the flesh in the name of. Jesus, we can identify the operation, oh Lord God, of the flesh of the self. In Jesus' name, we put to death every work of the flesh now. In Jesus' name, but Lord, we are going to rise up in the dimension of the spirit, oh Lord God, operating in the dimension, oh Lord God, which you have commanded us, uh, commanded us to operate to set our mind on the things above, not on the things below, oh Lord God. In Jesus' name, every wrong thing, oh Lord God, that is in our spirit, Lord God, we are. Uh, Putting it now in Jesus' name. Every curses, oh Lord God, of this world. Every curses, Lord God, that is in us. In the name of Jesus, we are breaking it right now. Break it, break it, select our own. Break it now in Jesus' name. Oh, this manipulative and control demonic spirit, we are breaking it right now in every family, in every family now in Jesus' mighty name. No more Jezebelic spirit in every family. No more Nicolaitan spirit in every. Every family, no more Cain spirit in every family. Absalom spirit in every family. In Jesus' name, in every family, no more rebellious one, no more controlling and manipulative one. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, let the select are be free in them. In Jesus' name, from every demonic forces in the thoughts and in our spirit, oh Lord God, in Jesus' name. Oh, we declare freedom right now. We declare right now freedom, buoyancy of the spirit a clarity in the mind no more confusion no more confusion no more in the colliding waves in jesus name oh in the name of jesus i prophesy oh lord god that every 
select I will receive the portion of receiving Lord and the spirit of understanding of what they are in the kingdom of God an agent of change a governmental anointing shall be the portion of every select I will get that they will be able to stand to the truth oh Lord God be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might that they would never allow the world to influence them they would never drink from the Babylonian river in Jesus name which is the social media but the social media will be Lord God a platform to influence and to bring healing to the world to bring our oh Lord God to stop the decaying decline in every domain in Jesus name oh select I will rise up to a whole new level rise up to a whole new frequency rise up to a whole new level of uh, in of the uh, kingdom dimension right now in Jesus name oh Lord we thank you so much Lord God for healing everyone right now in the name of Jesus no more confusion in the atmosphere of every home in Jesus name we're rebuking right now the wrong atmosphere in every home in every household in every family oh Lord God of those who are listening to this message in Jesus mighty name in Jesus' mighty name, let the atmosphere be changed, so Lord God, according to the kingdom atmosphere, which is holiness, righteousness, peacefulness, and joyfulness in the Holy Ghost. Oh, no more mixture, oh Lord God. No more mixture, oh Lord God, in Jesus' name. But the only a material that we should carry is the superior material, the divine material, oh Lord God, of which is the, the word of the Lord by the Spirit and by the word, oh Lord God. We can go to a new level of dimension in the Spirit. We praise you, Lord God, for the freedom that we have right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you that we will be able to decide. Lord, is strongly decide according to what the truth, to what we have received about the truth in jesus name we pray amen and amen